Welcome to the 30 days of AI challenge where literally I teach you how to create your own AI. Also, we have a new WhatsApp group now. So if you have any doubts, need updates to whenever we go live, check out the comments and the description. I can't do it. Now, bias. Now, I want to ask a question, okay? When I say a scientist, what comes to everyone's mind? I knew that you all would say lab coat and a glasses, spherical glasses. Literally, I'm saying it here, right? So, why? That is could be a bias. Can't a person wearing a black coat become a scientist? Or why does it have to be a coat, right? If it needs to be white, why not a t-shirt, right? So, that is the problem with bias, right? When you give it too much information about a specific thing that we imagine, the AI produces the image as similar stuff too. So when we put our bias, what we think that person should look like into the AI, AI also has a bias. AI has one another huge problem that I just learned. AI, we learn a lot of stuff, right? I learned about this few days, some time ago, and I couldn't add it to the slides. And it's about the biggest problem is not AI taking a job. The biggest problem is carbon footprint. So our world, you know about pollution, about all the stuff, right? And you know, okay, I'm pretty sure everyone's phones heats up, right? When they use it for a long time. Now imagine using a lot of power where you need ACs to cool it 24 hours 7, you need water cooling. Just like that, chat GPT and a lot of those stuff are ran on big, big, huge computers in their office known as servers. Now to cool those, they use ACs, they use water cooling and a lot of other stuff. And for that, they need a lot of electricity, which is bad for our planet. They need to produce a lot of carbon cut, carbon dioxide, a lot of electricity wasted, a lot of water. It's a huge, huge, huge problem. Even saying a thank you or a sorry to chat GPT causes a lot of money to chat GPT. Right? And it causes a lot of damage to our earth. That's the biggest problem with AI. Not uh, AI will take a job or nothing like that. People are not talking about this serious issue with AI. That's what we should be talking about. So everybody has, has a problem where when they use chat GPT, you can't use it when there is no network. So people say like, you are relying too much on chat GPT. What will happen one day when there is no Wi-Fi? Right? Well, that is when you can run it locally. So you can run it locally on your PC and even on your phone. So I'll be talking about that today. And this is much more privacy focused. So you don't need Wi-Fi. So you're not sending all your data to the government and to the businesses. So this is much, much, much more safer. So before I show you how to run all this locally, so these are the advantages if it will be more privacy because it's on your own device, right? This will, it is more advantaged because you can even, you know, it has, because it's on your PC and if your PC is much faster and you are the only one using that computer, you are not, you know, you are not using the same computer for 100 million people. So it will be much, much, much faster. Okay. So another advantage is you, it is offline available. Okay, it is so you don't need Wi Fi, you don't need the other stuff. It is much more, you know, it is free. So you don't need to pay money. I'm literally going to show a local AI that you don't need to pay money for. So this is all the advantage of running an AI on your PC without the network. So First of all, just like ChatGPT, Gemini and all those AIs and Meta AI, I think you have heard about all that, right? So just like that, we have our own AI, which the code is offline. Anyone can take it and make it better. So these are the AIs that we'll be using to add our own information and fine tune and all. We'll be doing it right now. But before that, so some models include Llama, Mistral, Gemma, and deep seek i think you all must have heard the name deep seek right it got really popular and llama is by our one and only meta facebook so without them taking our information we can actually run it on our pc 
right? And Gemma is by Google, so they have Gemini yes, and an open source version which the code is out and we can run on our easy. That is called as Gemma, right? So Gemma and Gemini. So that is all the models that we have. Okay. Uh, yesterday I showed you a lot of AI tools that you can run on your computer, right? Now, if you want to do the same thing on your PC without using internet, you can use these AI tools, okay, to create pictures. We'll be doing that too. And here's a fun fact. We'll be even training our face into it. So imagine us going to space, us driving a pile, like us being a pilot or a anyone, a police. We can make us do anything. And a small sneak peek I would love to show you of what we'll be doing today. This is something I made. I know it looks totally weird. Hello. Okay. But this is something I made with this AI. Okay. And we can make lot of weird stuff with this and this is not real obviously i don't have a twin but we can do all these kind of stuff with ai okay so we'll be training our own face into this ai models so i just showed you a picture imagine you being on a video doing random stuff we can even do that but sadly we have only three hours we can't go that in depth but we can even train our own models so if you learn the text and the image Trust me, you can even do for the same thing for videos too. If you just learn this and focus on the session. Okay, so these are some AI models. Okay, take a picture of this. Write this down because no one else is going to write it down like this for you with its description. So keep that in mind. Okay, keep this also in mind. Run this model locally. Either you can install it, take hours, you know, uh, take the code and all do all that. Or... We can do smart work, not hard work, and use softwares like Olama, LM, LMs, LLM Studio, Comfy UI, Invoke AI, WebLM, MLC Chat. All these are softwares that you can use these models on your PC. So basically, we are going to look like hackers. Okay, the good ones, obviously. We are going to look really cool and all. So I'm just going to screen share. Everybody, focus on the screen. You have even the instructions here. So first of all. Everybody go and on their PC, okay, you have to search CMD, okay, so this is like uh, the coder type, the terminal and all you must have seen in the movies, okay. So now we are doing, going to do something co cool. So first, we need to install Olama, right. So just for making it easier for me, I put all the commands here. And to install Olama, either you can go online and search Olama, okay. So, this is their website. So, you can come here and you can see a lot more models. So, like you saw, Llama 3.3, DeepSake, Quinn 3, Mistral, Gemma, all the models we talked about are here. And there are so many more models in this one website. Okay. So, here we, we just yes. have to download and it will download. So, once you finish downloading, okay. Uh, by the way, the instructions are also behind me. You can follow that too. Okay. We don't need ChatGPT right now. Uh, I don't use ChatGPT. ChatGPT, bye-bye. Okay. We'll be doing it locally. Okay. So, what you have to do, so, uh, you can use this command that is shown on the screen. I'm just going to take this and I'm going to copy this. So, it says, Olama. So, Ola, Olama pull Lama 3. So, you can look here or on my screen, anywhere. So, if I click on this, it will download. So anyway, I have downloaded it. So we don't waste time. So there are a lot more commands here. So I'm just going to type Olama list. So this will show us all the models that I have downloaded on my PC. Okay. So you don't need to go to chat GPT and use the internet and all that. These are on. So if I turn on the Wi-Fi, I can still use this, but I can't turn it off or I lose connection. But even if I don't use Wi-Fi, I can use this. So if you want to start talking to these models, you can do it by going to Olama and say, so first of all, if you want to download this, you type what? So if you want to download a model, we say pull. So you're like Olama pull dash. So now if you want Llama 3, you type that. If you want Gemma, you say Olama pull Gemma. After we type Olama, we have to type Olama pull. Okay. The model we want. So, we have already installed, not pull, sorry, run. So, if you want to talk to it, so if you type run and we just copy this, so let's, 
because I've already installed it. We do this and it loads the model and just like chat GPT, we can talk to it. So it was just taking a few seconds. Okay. Give me a good topic to talk with you. Let's check it out. I have many conversation topics. Okay, that is too long. Oh wait, future technology. I would choose future technology. So you see how fast it responds guys? Well, because we have downloaded the model on our computer. Okay, I hope that is clear. Now for the people on the Mac, you have to type terminal, not, uh, you know, command prompt. I know because I'm showing it off on the windows, it's kind of complicated, but it is much more simple if just come here. Can you see uh, available download? So you can you can see here there is Linux, there is Windows and there is Mac OS. So you, you can install it from here. OK, for the people who are doing using Mac. Thank you so much for joining into this 30 day AI challenge. Hope you are able to learn something from this. Now you have to rewatch this, understand the concepts again. Watching this once won't kind of help you. Now, if you missed any sessions, do watch those as well. Anyway, thank you for joining. Thank you for supporting my mission in teaching you guys AI. Another person who is supporting me is Oxygen because there's a lot of cost to do all this. And I just want to thank Oxygen for supporting us doing all this. Now, if you want awesome phones, awesome laptops, awesome washing machines that even has AI and stuff. I don't know, it's crazy. I've gone to that showroom. It has an Apple store vibe, right? So check it out. Love Oxygen. You guys already know. I don't have to explain a lot. That's it. Do join tomorrow. Thank you. My name is Raul. You're watching Raul the Rockstar. And I... I'm signing out.